Good evening, math friends. Tonight's lesson is lesson 6.7, Compare Fractions. We are working on page 125 in your Go Math book. And at the top of page 125, I want you to write down this essential question. How can you compare fractions? When you get done, we'll get started. Okay, let's look at number two. Number two is asking us to compare one-fifth and two-tenths. The strategy we're going to use is to find common denominators so that we are working with the same equal parts. So our steps for finding common denominators is step one, we need to list the multiples of each denominator to find the LCM or the least common multiple. So we need to list multiples of 5 and 10. Go ahead and do this with me in your Go Math books. We know that our multiples of 5 and our multiples of 10 is what we need. So multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, and 20. Multiples of 10 are 10 and 20, and let's do one more, let's say 30. Now our goal is to find the least common multiple, which would be 10. Now that is going to be our new denominator. So we are going to rewrite each fraction so that it has an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 10. So let's start with our one-fifth equals a fraction with a denominator of 10. Now I can see that 5 to 10 I need to multiply by 2 to create the equivalent fraction. So 1 times 2 gives me 2. So one-fifth equals 2 tenths. Now I have my two tenths here. Well, if I have two tenths, I can see that I do not need to change this fraction. It can stay a two tenths. It already has a denominator of 10. Now I can compare the fractions. I have my two tenths. That was for my one fifth and my two tenths. We can see that these fractions are equal to each other. So we know that one fifth is equal to two tenths. Now our final step is that we can cross multiply our fractions to check. So we're going to start with our original fractions which was one-fifth and two-tenths. And we are going to write them. And we are saying that they're equal to each other. And we can cross multiply. 10 times one is 10. Five times two is 10. They are indeed equal. Let's look at number three. Number three is wanting us to compare two-fourths and two-fifths. Remember that the first thing that we have to do is list the multiples of each denominator to find the least common multiple. So we have to list the multiples of four and five. So friends, I want you to list the multiples of four and five for me and find the least common multiple and circle it. Go ahead and do this now and press play when you're ready to finish the problem. Okay, here are my multiples of four and five and our least common multiple was 20. So now we can use our 20 to rewrite our fractions with a new denominator. So we should have two fourths equals a fraction with a denominator of 20 and 2 fifths equals a fraction with the denominator of 20. Now friends, I want you 
to find the missing numerator to find the equivalent fractions for our original fractions. Go ahead and do this now. Okay, we have that 2 fourths should equal 10 twentieths if you multiply by 5, and 2 fifths should equal 8 twentieths. Now let's compare the two fractions. We have 10 twentieths and 8 twentieths. Well, we can see that 10 twentieths is greater than 8 twentieths, which means that 2 fourths is greater than 2 fifths. Now, we can use cross multiplication to check this. We can take our 2 fourths and our 2 fifths, and we can cross multiply. 5 times 2 is 10, and 4 times 2 is 8. And we can see that 2 fourths is indeed greater than 2 fifths. Great job, guys. Let's go on to the next question. Let's look at number four. Number four is wanting us to compare three fifths and seven tenths. Now friends, I want you to work on number four on your own. Remember, we have to find common denominators and follow our steps to compare the fractions. Go ahead and work this out in your Go Math book and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. All right, let's check our work. When I did the multiples of five and 10, which was our denominators for three fifths and seven tenths, I found the least common multiple of 10. So I rewrote my fraction three fifths to equal a fraction equivalent to it with the 10 as a denominator, which I got six tenths. Now seven tenths already had a denominator of 10, so we could keep it the same. Then we can compare the fractions. 6 tenths is less than 7 tenths because 6 is less than 7, which means that 3 fifths is less than 7 tenths. Now I did cross multiplication to check. 10 times 3 was 30 and 5 times 7 is 35. I hope that you got this answer correct and you showed all your work. Give yourself a happy face next to number four. All right, Smarties, let's jump down to number six. Number six is asking us to compare two sixths and one third. I want you to do this problem on your own, finding common denominators between these two fractions using our steps. Go ahead and work this out and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's check our answer. When I found the multiples of six and three, the least common multiple I found was six, which is going to be my new denominator. Now I need to rewrite two sixths with the denominator of six, which it already had a six, so we could stay a two sixth. One third need to be written with a denominator of six, so we had to multiply our one third times two to get two sixth. Now we can compare two sixth with two sixth, and we saw that they are equal to each other, which means that two sixth is equal to one third. Now when I used cross multiplication to check, I did see that they were equivalent, which means that I was correct. I hope you guys did great. Let's go on to our last problem of the night. Let's look at number 13. Number 13 says, Peggy completed five sixths of the math homework and Al completed four fifths of the math homework. Did Peggy or Al complete more of the homework? So we need to find out who completed more and which fraction is greater, five sixths or Four fifths. So we are comparing five sixths with four fifths. And our goal is to find which fraction is greater. 
friends, I want you to find this answer using our steps in finding common denominators. When you're ready to check, press play. All right, let's check to see how you did. Multiples of my six and my five, we found that the least common multiple was 30, so that's our new denominator. Then I had to rewrite five sixths with the denominator of 30, and when I multiplied the five sixths times five, I got 25 thirtieths. Four fifths needed to be rewritten with the denominator of 30, and if I multiply 4 fifths times 6, I get 24 thirtieths. Now I can compare the fractions since they're part of the same whole. 25 thirtieths and 24 thirtieths, I can see that 25 thirtieths is greater, which means that 5 sixths is greater. Now if I cross multiply to check, I did see that my 5 sixths was greater. Now, Peggy completed five-sixths of the homework, which means that Peggy completed more of the math homework than Al. How did you guys do? I hope you did wonderful. Thank you for working so hard. Let's go on to the homework questions. Our homework questions for tonight are on page 126. You are completing all problems on page 126, numbers 1 through 6. Don't forget to assess yourselves. Let us know whether you feel like you're a novice, an apprentice, practitioner, or an expert after watching this video. I hope that you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye!